situation we have when the balls on that side, our backside must be engaged, right? So I have to flow over to at least this backside crease tangent here, be sideways and open my 102 position so I can see my man and the ball, and I have to be connected with my backside partner here. We have to be communicating and see each other. On the ball, on the pick, if you are the off ball man on the picker, you have to be in position to switch. You have to be up on the outside shoulder, ready to switch, especially when these picks come across the top side in a tight area. Let's get up on that top shoulder and ready to switch. Just as that ball moves, think about the, the slide and recovery drill off the start today. Yeah. Just working to continue to get ball side okay. and not turn your back to the ball. Yeah. Right. So as much as you saw that cut, you dove down right. it, you got to find your man, but as much as you can get ball side of him and find him through this triangle okay. right here, okay. right? you can see both yeah. and play both. So that's just a little thing. Okay. Hey, both of you. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things, and we haven't gone over this yet, but your man is cutting you to the crease, yeah, and, he's, and he's sealing you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you want to do your best to trail him so that you're ball side. So whenever you feel a guy start pushing you down, shed him, because even if you don't slide, right. now that guy turning the corner sees you, yeah. not you cleared it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little thing right there. Yeah. Good talk there on the back side. So what they're gonna like when you get you're going to Notre Dame, right? Yeah. So when you go to Notre Dame, they're gonna spend a lot of time. And they just love freshmen, right? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna try to quiet that stick down, and so you're just it, it probably it works sometimes. You're good at it, but like all this, there's a time and place, but yeah. off the approach, just quiet it, discipline, stick it in here where it's disruptive, and then the guy makes the move, plant drive, and then I can kind of like if I want to make a move from there, I've oh. I've already contained. You gotta contain the dodge before you disrupt it. Make yeah. sense? Right. So when you're approaching me and you start doing like, I start running at you and you start like bringing it back, I see that, I'm just like playing off it. Yeah. If you just contain me, eventually I'm gonna make, move your feet with me. So back that I make the break here. Now you can think about like, see my hands like little, like, you know, little things. Then it becomes a much more controlled disruption than off the approach, reaching for everything, because that's when we're most vulnerable. Yeah. So add a little more time to your contain phase, discipline, stick by the hip, break with them, and then read it from there. And if you want to be disruptive after that, you'll have better grounds to do it. Ethan. So I want you to think about the first drill we did today, or, or in the positional, right, on that wing dodge, because it's pretty similar, where you're getting dodged, right? And we kind of keep that cushion, break with him and drive. Now, a little bit of the opposite is when the guy makes the move, and we just open turn and reach for that check right away. I was talking to like Bo earlier. So just taking that contain phase a little longer of keeping him in front of you, breaking with him down the line towards the pipe, because if you step at him and reach, he's taking that S dodge underneath. So just add, before you throw these checks, think about approach, no check, stick in front. in front. Contain, no check. Now the break out of that, you can read off the break if you did a good job, whether or not your stick should come across or not. So just slow down the process of the stick jumping to the his stick, because that's where we get a little, you know, a little reachy, all right? And so I heard you guys talking to each other while you were saying things, but it didn't feel like you guys were like connected, right? So even off the start, like you're saying, stay, 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 but I'm looking at my guy, you're looking at your guy. We have no relationship. Off the ball, right away, we should open up and find this relationship. So now Pat's pointing at me, Ben, stay high, Ben, stay high. Now I know, right? So now we're not chasing our guys because I'm chasing my guy around the field. What can I not do? Can I slide, oh. right? Because I'm following my guy. So we lose the slider. We turn to four and four into a two on two. So the more as the backside, hold spots, connect, pass guys through, you still can hold that valuable space right there as a sliding guy. So just something to think about, limit our movement off the ball. We don't want to move as much off the ball as sometimes we do. The better we are off the ball, actually the less we move because the more we can pass guys amongst us. Make sense? Cool.